has everything. Bumping in, banging. <laughs> Big Boys Big Neighborhood. God. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. We got E-40 in the okay. neighborhood, man. There, there's so many slashes that I can put on this, man. There's so many titles mm-hmm. we can put on here, man. But let's just say that E-40's in the neighborhood. Mm. And I just learned yeah. something about 40 right now that I never knew. <laughs> That's crazy. As never. long as I've known this guy. You know what I'm saying? 40. I asked you, I said, man, how long you been wearing prescriptions? So what did you say? I wear a non-prescription. <laughs> yeah, uh. so, so 40, those are not prescription. You, Joe, they look fancy those are too. not prescription glasses. As long as we've been seeing 40 with glasses. 40, you don't wear glasses? Nope. <laughs> I love it. I love but it so really much. Uh, I can see all of them. I can read Take them on, take them off. It's still on stage. So, 40, let me ask you this, man. For as long as we can remember, <laughs> yeah. it's so many album covers, videos, you always wore glasses. Right. What made you go and grab some prescription looking glasses and rock them? Because everything uh, <laughs> is, is authentic with me. Like, no, seriously, it all, it all happened naturally. Mm-hmm. Like, <clears throat> so me being. Um, you know, like I say, everybody know I got my name from drinking 40. So go ahead now. The first name is Earl, which is, you know, the first letter E. So they call me E40. And then um, out back on the soil in the, in the days, uh, you know, the late, the <laughs> mid 80s, <laughs> early 80s. How you want to put that? Um, we uh, this was one of the looks that, I, you know, we ha- I, I used to be a skinny dude. Right. You know, I had I, was, I had a six pack, everything. You know what I mean? And I, I had a perm. Go oh, ahead, yes. man. Perm. Say that then. Oh, perm. Me. Had, you know, braids, all that. So I've been through it all. I had high top face, all that. But we we used to wear glass just to look. It was a look. You know, right. shit like that. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't just me. It was a bay everything. A yeah. lot of cats in the bay, especially them town boys, Oakland boys. They, they wear them like that. And I just took it like it was a throw-off method. Like, so I'll wear it, and I'll have a fisherman hat on. I'll be in an old-school-ass right. station wagon bucket in the traffic right. doing my duties. <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying like to be get under. away with it. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I wanted them to just bypass me. All right, he, 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 he's square. Right. I, my whole thing was one trying to, to look like a square because it's throw-off methods. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? Man, so, it, so I just it, kept a look. Yeah, and you know, it's a trip, dude. As many times and as wow. many years and as many times we sat down, Fody, you couldn't tell me. That you didn't wear prescription glasses, man. Everybody think that. Everybody think that. But uh, no. I so you're not that. one of them cats. You get up. You don't have to find your glasses. Now, you know what's good, though? When Because eventually I'm probably going to have to wear glasses. I don't think so. You don't think so? Because no. you know, when you get That's older. Not my name. Yeah, yeah, man. 20 years from now, we'll knock on wood, though. Yeah, yeah. knock yeah. on everything. <laughs> Hello. But then everybody would be like, oh, well, I thought he'd been wearing glasses anyway. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Because nah. I thought for sure you were rocking prescriptions, man. Yeah. I was, this is fancy. This is uh, my box right here. Oh, okay. man. I got See? these from Dubai, 2700 Woo! Whoa. I got these Ross. from Lynn's Crafters. You got these from Lynn's Crafters? You got them from Lynn's yeah. Crafters? Yeah. Yeah. I just throw them in my pocket, too. They all <laughs> scraped and everything. I'll see right yeah, there. these from uh, Lynn's Crafters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Right there. I'm you surprised. smell it one time over there? Hey, you. Hey, I like yeah. that. <laughs> I, was, no, I, was, I need to send a message to Ross and tell him he need to, you know, say get to my box. You know, ah, that's yeah. his thing. That's what he rocked. That's what that's how. Man, so those glasses, glasses are they got how much? all kinds. They got the kind he wear, the bigger ones and everything. And how much are those? These are twenty seven hundred in Dubai. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, you bought them in Dubai? Yeah, I bought them in Dubai. I heard that. But they man, got them. Yeah. They available online or whatnot. These right at the uh, Topanga. To- oh. Topanga. Oh, oh, oh. Lens crafters. <laughs> yeah, lens crafters right there. Right. And Fody, they let me slide in without uh, uh, an appointment. Oh boy! Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? Yeah. There it they is. be tripping with them, them appointments. Man, too, uh. hey man, not if you big boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Show you right. They used to have all the fashions though. They don't have lens crafters. Don't have all the, the latest brands. Well, they like had they these used right to. here, man. I What's need some what, glasses. Now, what kind of those? Are? What kind? What kind <laughs> of those? Uh, these are. Uh, uh, <laughs> what are those called? That you wear? Oh, these are my box. Oh, my oh box. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. These are uh, your box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're the knockoffs. You know what I'm saying? The D-Boy Diary. Go ahead, You bro. don't mm. stop, man. And Fody, you don't just come like, there ain't never a Fody like EP. When you nah, come, you bro. come with double albums. You yeah. know? So this would be album number what? I, I, am I right if it says 26 and 27 or uh, 25, yeah, if 20. you want to count a solo like that without the uh, E forty or two short project, right? And uh, all the oh click, uh, the click albums in my, I had earlier so EPs this is back in the days you. too. I did EPs, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But um, so you talking about full length albums about twenty six, twenty seven? Gosh! And then I ain't even added the uh, MVP, the, the all, oh the, all the click Lord. albums. 
You know what I'm talking about? The grit don't quit, man. I, I see that. Love it. Man, now. Just the, building up the catalog, man. It's a retirement plan. The catalog. <laughs> to some people, the catalog is built, man. Like, yeah. But you never stop, though, bro. And the, and the crazy thing about it, Fody, is that you have been relevant ever since I started radio. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, right you've right. been relevant to everybody mm-hmm. in here. I thank God and for you everything, still, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And no one ever says, like, E-40, like, old school artists. Or you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. you do current shows, and you keep your catalog current. And I and I hate to ask the generic question, but how does that happen? Uh, I think a lot of it got to do with uh, test of fortitude, motivation, and having a passion to really do music. I love it. It's not just about the money. Of course, it's an occupation, but I really love music. I go crazy without doing it. Even right. when I'm 80, 90 years old, if I make it to there, but uh, hey, it's, it's, it'll be groovy. Yeah, that'll be groovy. But it's not I'll just you. I'll probably just make it just for myself, just in, you know, just just for me. I but it's not just, just you music. that enjoy it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot mm-hmm. of cats that enjoy music, mm-hmm. but you don't get the big shines of the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't get cats of the world to still come and, and mess with, with with a lot of cats. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Now, a lot of cats rock with me, man. You know, they recognize the real. I, and I spit real stuff. A lot of times, it just go over their head. You know how it is. Yeah, man. Anything different, people, it takes a long time for them to, like, really start embracing. I'm very different. My style is different. I, don't, I choose not to rap like everybody else. The things I say, they catch up to it later. Mm-hmm. And it's not just slang. I really say real life lessons. I give you life lessons, man. Mm-hmm. The D-Boy Diary is full of life lessons. Now, going you know. into doing the D-Boy Diary, did it? Did you know you were going in doing two more? Or did it just come out where it's like, man, I got all, all this material and I got so many things to say? You know, I, on that one, I planned it to be two. Mm-hmm. You know, I was going to come with Sharp on all four corners, <laughs> uh, th- uh, three and four, because I had did one and two. And I was like, you know what? Let me just throw a twist on it right quick and just do the D Boy Diary. Then maybe I go back to Sharp on All Four Corners because they all—it's all game related, not gang related, but game related. Hello, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, you never had where Fody got outside of the, the the box, the lane. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's not a time that I could look back at E40 and say, "What the hell was he doing there?" Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been always Fody Water. From the day that I stepped on board, right, it's always been the same, and not the same like oh it's the same. I mean, but you never stepped out of what we what we expected from you. Righteous. Now I try to stay in my lane. I, you know, I, you know, I stay within my envelope. I'm not trying to go out of my jurisdiction, but I want to be me. But I want to, you know, I don't want to be like everybody else. When everybody else is going right, I want to go left. Right. And to make it to be an innovator, you got to do different things. And mm-hmm. I and I'm and I'm talking about not no game goofy different things right you know, right it's right. all gamed up man you know and the soil relate to me you know and i'm very organic and i'm a good dude a lot of cats <laughs> like me yeah because man. I'm, I'm just a solid dude yeah. i ain't out there trying to make up controversy before my album come out none of that i just be me i play my position yeah you, and, and it's crazy man because that's real Fody. like character is being what spoke about you when you're not in the room yeah and when you're not in the room Fody, people always speak well about you Thank Always, you. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Even even if it's it's been something where it's been whatever, whatever. Like you've never been caught up where it's like there's a there's just a jacket that you wear. Right. Like people, everybody mess with Fody. I try to treat everybody like I want to be treated. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like like I say, man, what I want for me, I want for others. Did you feel at one time, Fody, that like it took a while for people to catch up? You know, because it was like, man, he he rapping fast. What is he rapping about? So on and so forth. But you 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 stayed with it. Did you ever feel like you had to slow it down a little bit? I had, you know, I, <laughs> slow down my spit so these squares can understand it. Hello. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I have did it. You know, um, I don't necessarily have to rap fast. Like even on um, the the D Boy Diary, you can hear me just 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 rapping, just cool, like like just where they can understand everything and all that. But I don't. Everybody rapping fast now, but I don't just be saying, I'm just not, not knocking nobody. I really got a lot of life lessons and mm-hmm. you know things you can learn from my fast rapping and whatnot. If you really sit down and listen to it, mm-hmm. if you take time to listen to it. If you know, if you want to just play it safe and be a rapper that just you know just in the pocket, just doing the regular thing, that's cool. That's something you have to look at in the in the future and say, man, I didn't really make no um, big impact in mm-hmm. real life for the future. You know what I mean, like. I want to be somebody that they go back and say, I'm going to sample this dude. I like, the, right. like his voice is thawed. He's right. unorthodox ass rap style like dude is, and he be saying some stuff. So I, 
I don't want to be different, man. Hey, man, if you were to go right now, Fody, and do publishing, mm-hmm. how many songs do you think that you would have to list as E-40? I don't know because, you know, the first probably, what, probably the first 10, 12 albums was probably like between. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that was like, you know, between, I would always do at least 15. Right, right. Wow. You know, at least 15. Mm-hmm. And then when I started doing, and then when I got my, uh, when I went to uh, EMI distribution, which is now Caroline Universal, I put out another, what, 16 albums? Since yeah. the, you know what I'm saying? So oh, ever since then, they've they oh, all been man. like twos. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I'm like twos and threes, Damn. you know? So, and they all, and like this, these, like the D-Boy Diary, book one and two. So book one has 40, uh, I mean, 22 songs. Right. And book, and book two uh, got 22 um, and then the total deluxe package on iTunes that's available, that's uh, 44. So, you know, you combine all that stuff, man. That's a lot of records. And 40, in, it don't be wow. throwaway records. Right. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not like like you just get in there and like, okay, we knocked out another one. We knocked out another one. Yeah. Like what I do when I get, get a 40 album is I enjoy listening to the entire album yeah mm-hmm. like even even on this d-boy diary i can't wait to grab it and yeah. i enjoy listening to it you know what i'm saying like and everything is it's not throwaway right thank you man i appreciate that man no this is a it's really good listening because when i have first when i mastered it i put it in in, in my system at the house and i'm in there i'm, I'm making some i think some um some ground turkey for some tacos. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm just in my mood. You know, I got ESPN on, but it's quiet, and I got the beat slapping. Uh, I threw my, I threw my CD in. And I'm like, whoa! I didn't even know what I was doing. I say, man, it's like the first, just the first ten of them just going crazy by itself. Like, right. just, like <laughs> right. nonstop, just slap. I'm like, oh, wow, they gonna love this one right here. Oh man, man. you feel me? Wow. Then the rest of it just slap. It's like a variety. Of everything in there, man, and I'm really speaking some good stuff, good motivation, self motivate, mm-hmm. like really uplifting records. You know what I mean? I'm really a cold rapper, man. I'm yeah, not man. To, I'm, I'm being honest, man. I like myself, man. Right, go ahead. <laughs> Just celebrated a birthday. Happy birthday yeah. to you once again, Thank you. bro. How do you celebrate your birthday, Fody? First of all, I turned 29. Hey, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Happy 29th yeah. birthday. About to blow up them 30 candles yeah, 20 next more year. To that. Hello. <laughs> but, uh, I, man, you know what? On this one, I just pretty much, me and wifey went to breakfast early. Mm-hmm. And early in the morning. And um, and then I just really chill, played dominoes. I'm, you know, I'm a family type of guy. Yeah, you man, know what I, I know mean? that. Now my fiftieth, I'm a, you know, what I'm saying, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a turn that way, you know, I'm, a, I'm turning up, man, you feel me? <laughs> so I don't know if it's gonna be a big extravaganza at one of them uh, big coliseums or something. Man, you know? let's do it in Dubai. I, I thought about Dubai. <laughs> go ahead now. Yeah, I thought go. about Dubai. How many times you been to Dubai? Uh, once. I'm going back out there in uh April. How are you with flying? Because every the world want to see you. I fly Emirates. Oh. When I when I when I go, I fly Emirates because you you know seats recline. You know they got mm. the bar. They got the full bar. Yeah, bro. You know they got hell? potpourri in the bathroom. Go got, ahead. You know, real towels. <laughs> go ahead. You know what I mean? If you want to if you want to take a, a gangster sit down. <laughs> yes, you sir. can do that. As you should. Like Sixteen brother, hour big, flight. Big man, man friendly. Yeah, big man friendly. As it should you know, be, brother. The, por- the porcelain thing. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you like to travel to, Fody? Like, what, what's your spot when you see it on your itinerary or do you, when you tell the team, make sure we get here? As uh, far as vacation, I just travel. Just like if you want to like go do shows a show. and stuff? Yeah. D- Detroit and really? Kansas City, yep. My really? favorite spots to go. Yeah. Wow. Yep. And why you think that is? We just cousins. We just connect. We just, it's just love. Damn. Real, so real you know it. real, yeah. I love them. What about vacationing? Vacation, uh, the Bahamas. Right. Um, and I'll tell you, uh, Paradise Island, the Atlantis. Go Been ahead. Going now. there for like do you get a ch- years. Do you get a chance to relax like that? Fully? Yeah, like with the all the hard place. work. It's the best place for vacation, man. And you do get a chance they to get away. They got a casino. I love to gamble. Hello, what's the Full most flinch. you won? Uh, I don't. You know what? Probably about fifty. Fifty what? Thousand. Wow. Fifty thousand. Wow. Damn. And how much? How it was much? a combination. Though. It was craps. It was over a weekend. Right. It was like craps. It's a hell of a weekend. It was like it was probably about fifteen on roulette. And oh. then crash probably about eight, and then you know just uh, I lost. You you know you lose during that process too, right? So you might you might come back the next day lose three, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then get back at it a little later, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah. added it up, but not at one time probably about fifteen, you know really what I'm don't. saying? Yeah, I don't be going too deep. I I just love to do it. I love to sit down and man, and you know what? Not when I first started playing roulette, I seen Clint Eastwood in a um in a in a movie, and he had uh he was playing roulette. 
and they, and they, they, he ca- he cashed out like about a hundred thousand. I'm like, man. And so one day I was perking, and I ran, I walked past Roulette, <laughs> and then I just, man, let me let's try. Like, come on, I told my wife, I said, let's play this, let's see what this do. I say, man, how you play this? So I'm talking to the, the dealer and whatnot, and then um, it was a, uh, I started playing with all ones. So a hundred dollars worth of ones is hella chips. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can spread them all over the table. <laughs> yeah. So you can put a dollar chip on on a number. Say just say number fifteen, which is my birthday, and and you are gonna get paid thirty five to one. Mm. So thirty five dollars on that one dollar. You know what I mean? So and then I play the second and twelve. So the second and twelve is right there in the mm-hmm. middle. Um. You know, when anytime you're in the middle, I think that's the safest lane to ever be in. You mm. know what I mean? So that's what I that's what I play second and twelve. And I put it on, you know, you put it on birthdays and all that stuff, you know what I mean? But then I start graduating and start going from that to five. So then I went to $25, then $100 chip. $100 chip, so you put a thou out there, you got 10 numbers. You know, $100 chip, $3,500. Oh, you feel man. me? $3,500 for, for $3,500, though. Yeah, you and then you can surround it and hit 7000 if you put... Put them all around it. You Man, me, you so. got to play with different nuts, though, Jack. You like got my, to. my nuts yeah. ain't there. Yeah, you got to be drunk like yeah. me. I get drunk. <laughs> yeah. You, you got to own your own get down, too. You, you know got what I'm saying? Yes, you got to own your own get down. Yes, sir. Earl Stevens Collection. Yes, sir. You know selection. what I'm saying? Selection. Selection. Same thing. Selection. Uh, uh, slurry cane. Mm-hmm. And uh, also the E40, E-40 malt, malt liquor. E40 malt liquor beer, mm. man. And here With a hand of honey, 10% alcohol. <laughs> 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 hey, man, what's at the crib right now, man? Do do you have your own at the house? Uh, Yeah, I got all I got all my brands at the house. And on the, on the daily, I drink. Uh, well, not on the daily, but when I'm in the Stisnudio. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I got company. I whenever we, you know, we, if we want to drink some vodka, it's, it's probably Tito's or, or, mm. or Grey Goose, but when, but soon to be, you know, I would hope like February, March, they'll be drinking my vodka. You coming with wow. your own vodka I love too? It. Yeah, definitely. Man, yeah, six times distilled. And yo, hello, you know, you know the game. I know though. My thing, Will it be gluten free like Tito's is? No, nah, it ain't gluten free. Oh. Nah, put that gluten in there, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> put the gluten in there, man. Okay. Yeah, flavor. <laughs> you know, I'm putting the gluten in there, but it's it's. It's you know it's it's, it's six times the steel. Oh, it's yeah. good. It's, it doesn't mm. burn the chest. Nice. It's smooth. You feel what I'm talking about? And, I, and the name of it is called Tycoon. Oh yes, oh. sir. Tycoon <laughs> vodka. You yes. know everybody. And the packaging is so wonderful. <laughs> right. Go ahead now. You know the packaging. When y'all see the packaging, y'all be like, okay, yeah, that's elegant, right? There. Right. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and then I got a tequila coming. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. It's 100 like percent agave. Oh hello. And then uh, I have um, I, I got a whiskey. Flavored oh, whiskey God. and a new album out and a new you say a new album <laughs> and a new <laughs> album out the D Boy Diary book one and two number t- it's right now it's uh, currently I hope I got to look and check out of the past three four days they've been number two on um on on iTunes that's pretty damn good for <laughs> mm-hmm. a dude that's almost a half a hundred <laughs> <laughs> man a a forty what do you feel about just just the rap game right now you you've seen a lot of evolution yeah. And you've seen us go through, you know, the the conscious, the boom stickities, the mm. the the gangster rap, whatever it may be. Yeah. Where do you? How do you feel about hip hop right now? I think it all. It's so many different uh, categories right. of it. You know, like you don't have to be like hip hop. Come from it's really urban. Mm-hmm. It, it started off urban in the what I believe the South Bronx, mm-hmm. Bronx probably. You know, I'm, I know New York. Put it right, that way. Get it. We get that to New York. Period. You know what I'm saying? And so. Um, it started off urban in the streets for show. Now it's more suburban. You suburban. You don't have to be a uh, uh, um, uh, uh, somebody from the soil, from the inner city, to be a successful rapper. Now you right. can be from the from the from the, the outskirts anywhere. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You can be from and anywhere. especially now with social media and right, internet. Right, right. So I noticed that. You know what I mean? And everything got to be shoot them up, bang, bang, and all this, that. You know what I mean? It's like they buy them. They buy music now. They are they streaming it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um. You know, it's a mixture of everything. Is it harder as an artist now? Because back in the days, we were we were kind of chasing gold and platinum mm-hmm. plaques, and then right. there was a such thing called royalty checks that yeah. you got, and those kind of things. Well, congratulations to you on function just going gold. Yeah, yes. just went gold. Yes, go sir. ahead now. Congratulations yeah. to you on yeah. that. Yeah. Yes. But but and that's hard as hell to get. Independent. If you go function gold, that means you probably done sold. Two, three million copies on, in real life, <laughs> as opposed to like how it used to be back in the days. That would have been two, three, two million copies. Probably. Easy, you know what I mean. So nowadays to go gold is very. It's yeah, not it don't that happen, easy. bro. It don't happen, especially being in the game for thirty years. A dude that been in the game for thirty years, you know what I'm saying. Then we, you know, the choices had went gold. Then yes, I'm on sir. a bunch of features that went gold from the 
You know what I'm talking about? The Sage record with Ty Dolla Sign. Uh-huh. The, the, uh, the I don't uh, f G Easy records. Mm-hmm. Uh, the um, uh, the boy. Uh, yeah, I don't f with you. Yeah, Big man. Shine. Such a good one. Uh, uh, um, it's it's a few of them. I just got a name. On, I got a I got a, a lot of stuff that went gold recent platinum recently of mine too as well. <laughs> uh, you you and that booty just went platinum. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, and then uh, tell me when to go. Just oh. went gold. It took a while for tell me when to go to go gold, but it went gold. Right. I ain't gold, man. And these are all singles, and I got gold albums, and I'm just grateful, man. I'm you know. Hey, forty. Is it hard for you to perform certain places because? You could you could sit up and you could write a show list, right? Yeah. Do you have to be careful of the show list because you could say, okay, well, it's a kind of a radio show, so I'll go from this this point to this point. Yeah. And then if you touch turf, like how you say Detroit mess with you, and they probably mess with you for a while. You have to go back even more so, probably. So you got to be deep. you got to be conscious of what you what show list you putting together. That's a serious. That's a serious question. You know what? And you got to look at the you got to look at the ambiance to see. Okay, look. Okay, look. Okay, they look. They they little. They look. The age group look like they young stemming from that from the back in the days, and then it's a mixture though. So you got to mix it up. Mm-hmm. So even with um, in Detroit, we got in Detroit the mid. Anytime we in the Midwest and the South, mainly the Midwest and the Midwest, we definitely got to bring back like be about your paper, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. Fatty Skrilla Scratch, man. We got to bring back the old slaps. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And 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 they like the new ones, so we right. mix that thing in. You know what I'm saying? We save the old ones for later, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we put the new ones in first. Then we sing the old. They be like, man, I wonder if we gonna sing the old ones, man. We put the new ones in first. Then we sing the old ones and turn that thing that we we show out, man. Man, so, do, you, do you ever forget lyrics? Definitely. Uh, yeah, man. Definitely, Because man. there's times when I hit you up about a song, and yeah. you be like, wait, okay, hold on, let me see. <laughs> man, cause I be forget, I, man, it's so many. I probably, man, to be honest with you, I probably got more. Not I, I I don't know I'm almost I'm almost certain I probably got more records than probably any hip hop artist mm-hmm. as far as far as records like songs songs right than any hip hop artist in the world far as official records not mixtapes talking about records that's been documented with barcode mm-hmm. from the beginning I never did a mixtape in my life no disrespect to anybody that that has done them hey do y'all thing man that's y'all thing I'm I'm not mad at that there's different ways to do it some people blossom with it. Some people, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, it, it is. It's just it not is. what you do. It is just not what I do. So I'm not knocking nobody. Do Man. it. Do what you do. You know what I mean? I just, I, I just thought about that just now. Just really, like, I pro- I'm almost certain. You probably forget more yeah. records than you can actually remember, though. Mm-hmm. Definitely do. Yeah. I definitely forget. Because I, I know it's been times I put you on the spot and you're like, man, like, I, big, I don't remember that. And one. then I rap fast. So one, all my, a lot of times, especially in my earlier days, I was rapping hella fast, right? Yeah, man. And so, just trying to say some fast stuff back then. A four. All that is like three or four. That's a song in one verse. Yeah. A whole three. You know, three verses in do, one. Do you do you remember the uh, the the pull that pull this motherfucker over, man? You gotta go. Do you remember? You know that, that better than me. See, I wow. promise you. Right. <laughs> but what I do when I need to sing certain songs, and I know You'll that go back. I'll go listen to it for about two, three days, and marinate on it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I might tuck the lyrics under it. Right, so just, yeah. just in case I'm I'll get, oh, okay. That's where I'm at now. They get back at it. You know what I mean? So I took in. That's what they call a TV track, pretty much, kind of like you know what I mean. Right, right, they right, have right. The lyrics under it, real low, but they know it's still me because you're gonna hear me saying other things on the mic louder, and so, you know it's me. So Man. it ain't lip syncing or none of that. It's just like making sure we do it right, just beefing it up a little yeah, bit. That's too. all. You know, it sound better too, like that too. E40. Now I have to just pick your brain about this. I don't want to throw okay. this person under the bus because they've okay. talked about it. But to younger cats who say that they cannot name five songs of Biggie or Pac, what kind of advice do you have for them? At first, I was like, man, do your due diligence and whatnot. But it's like nowadays, these youngsters, they're very young now. Mm-hmm. You know, 19, 20, 20, you know, 23. Me personally, when I was 17, I felt like I was a grown ass man, like a, like a man, like when I graduated from when I came out of uh, high school, graduated at seventeen, I was like, "I'm a man." Bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying I ain't no kid. You feel me? That's really how I felt in mm-hmm. my in my mind because I was the oldest. Probably that's probably why I felt like that. But me and a lot of people feel the same way. But anyway, the youngsters, what it is is that if they twenty now, that mean they was ten. No, they no, no that they, mean they, born. Wasn't born. they wasn't even born. Yeah. So I, now now because uh, a couple of my partners, they was talking to me. They was like, "Forty, you don't understand, man. They they young. They super young. They wasn't even born." So now I can I kind of can understand it, but at the same time, you know, I mean, you still 
it, oh, we had to go to the library and read hard copy magazines to just get any type of knowledge about um, hip hop. Mm-hmm. Now it's in the palm of your hand. Do your due diligence and go read up on the history of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? It just it just should be if you really love it. That's just something you should really do. Just yeah, you man. should make it a, your agenda to just do it and just look it up and be like, because there's a lot of youngsters. Like even shout out to Neff the Pharaoh, man. That little dude, man. He man, you know his favorite group. He loved me. He loved Mac Dre. But yeah. you know one of his favorite groups, the Big Timers, Baby and them Cash Money. Go ahead now. You know what I'm saying? It's like he he, he a young. He only 21 years old. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He, they looking at it like, man, some some people really do their due diligence and like, man, I love the old school and I love the new school. But he you know did, what I mean? But Neff also tapped into you also. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think, we was already E-40 before he was even born. Before we, yeah. He was born in wow. 1995 <laughs> when In a Major <laughs> Way came. I mean, yeah, In a Major Way came you out in 1995. Dude, I remember being at the video <laughs> sets. You know what I'm you saying? Definitely like was there. Like craziness, it man. It was like yesterday, man. That went yeah. by quick. Huh? Yeah, it does, man. 21, 20 years, 22 yeah. years. It's your fault. There it is. Man. Got us on all this slurry game. <laughs> oh, right my God. E-40, you a 49ers fan, right? Yeah, I and mean, we've been Ooh. getting our ass beat, but I'm still a 49ers fan. I'm glad you yeah. said yeah. it, You got man. the Warriors, though, right? We got the Warriors. We definitely um, got the yeah. Giants too. We made yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? We got up in there in wild card, you know what I'm saying? So, mm. you know, we got San Jose Sharks, man. We, you, I still like right. the Niners. The Niners is they at the be moment. Right. It's at what, this moment, one it's, it's ugly right now. Yeah, it's terrible right, right now. Right. It's very bad. So, you already I'm looking not going to next season. Yeah, I'm looking at next season. Yeah, right. it's, too, it's too late right now. But I'm, I'm a Niner for life. Uh, yeah, shout man. out to the Raiders. I'm, you know, I'm from the Bay Area. I'm from Vallejo. I'm not from Oakland. Mm-hmm. I'm not from San Francisco. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm from the Bay Area. I'm from Vallejo. So, you know, I used to roll with the whole Bay package, and then they told me because, like, I had my boy Chester McLaughlin and Daryl Russell, RIP to both of them. Hello, they both stayed in my neighborhood, so I go to some of the Raider games back in the days. And then uh, Merton Hanks and Dana Stubblefield, Dana stayed three down, doors down from me, and then Merton stayed right around. Of course, we all in the same neighborhood. Ricky Waters, all of us, mm. and so I go to some of the Forty Nine er games. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So then it was like my cousin, them Cavio and Muggsy and all them and and and, and tap that ass and Rick Rock and all <laughs> them. They was like, man, you got to pick a team. You got to pick a side because they Raider fans. They, I'm like, man, well, I'm going with the 49ers. Team. Go ahead yeah. now. If you're going to make me. You know, you if you're going to make me. To. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so some people gave me um grief like, oh, man, he a floater because one, one of my videos might be bang. I had um I had San Diego Charger. I had never been a Charger fan, but no disrespect to him. Mm-hmm. I just wore it because I'm a I'm West Coast. Go ahead. So now. all the teams yeah. I was wearing was West Coast. You know, I even had Raiders. I had everything I can put on. You know what I mean? At that time, that was six years ago. Mm-hmm. Right? It's been different. You can't go nowhere now wearing another team's hat. Are they going? Oh, yeah, Ben yeah. Wagner. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. Back yeah. in Especially our days, social media even more so now. Right? And they don't understand. Back in the day when we was young, we would wear shit that. Go Excuse ahead now. We'll wear oh. things that are uh that are match our fit. Yeah, so if I man. got on all burgundy on, I might have Washington Redskins. I ain't never been a Washington yeah. Redskins. <laughs> right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like we just wear like this wear Miami hat is going right. with this jacket it, yeah, right that's now. That's how the thing used to go. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's different now. So you know, um, but now nah, Niners for life, man. And we 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 not we're not looking at good. I think we need to make some changes up in the front office. Mm-hmm. Right, right. I really do. And and it's crazy for We were just talking about how fast the years go. Yeah. And when when you think about Tupac, like you you one of them cats, man, and, and we're talking about two decades now. When we look up and we like, damn, it's been you know, it's really we talking about twenty years that quick. Yeah, man. Like, what was your relationship like with Pac? It was good, man. You know, it was it was a uh, organic relationship. Mm-hmm. Two uh, dope MCs recognized, and two real dudes yeah, recognizing man. each other. I was first. Uh, I was I, I was first and I heard uh, Tupac on um who was that strictly for my was it strictly for my N I G G A yeah he shot yeah, yeah he shouted out he shouted out E forty in the click me and the, me in the click and it was like oh that's big everybody come man you know the, you know Tupac shouted you you know Tupac was big too right mm-hmm. you know I'm like oh that's big man then my you know Richie Rich the foe the one yes the sir Hello. shout out to Richie Rich man you know uh, the legendary Richie Rich from the Bay Area got at me he say forty man uh. I seen Pac the other day because he he been new Pac, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And he was like, man, Pac want to get. He, he told me to give you his number, so I called him, and from then on, it was we was. It what was, was it like recording with Pac? You want to really know? Yeah, man, you talking about somebody that can really blow cannabis? Oh, really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rolling it up, man. I'm talking about nonstop. Like once he finished with one, he he right he already rolled when he halfway through one of his partners or whoever, and they ain't rolling. 
You like know what I'm saying? Really like, he stayed smoking broccoli, man. That was his thing, but it kept him functional, and he he was so gamed up. And he write in 15 minutes. He'll write a whole song in 15 minutes. I know he wrote that verse that we did on Dusted and Discussing mm. in about probably 10 minutes. Wow. 10, oh. I sat there why, and, why he, why, and drinking Hennessy and smoking a little <laughs> And it's like, you know oh, what I'm saying? Like, wow. man. Incredible, man. You got to realize the man passed away at 25. He did mm-hmm. so much in so little time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That did man, you feel like, like you weren't going to have Pac for long? You know, there's just some people like I, I've had some people in my life, man, like a partner of mine where I knew that the times that we were having were special. Yeah. And I just felt like I wasn't going to have yeah. him for long. I, I can't I couldn't determine the future. But I tell you what he did tell me one time. We was on the my last time seeing him was 1996. We was on my uh, trailer um, shooting the uh, video to uh, Rapper's Ball. Mm-hmm. That was that was that's when that we was had Versace. Here. We had the Alize. I was and, there, uh, brother. Yeah, you was at that. I one. was yes, there. Sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was a monumental day. We shot that in uh, Calabasas. No, I thought it was right here in like Pasadena or something. No, it was I Calabasas. could be wrong. That was okay. Calabasas. You was at the uh, uh, Hope I Don't Go Back to Sling and Yeah. Oh, really though? You was in that video. Oh, you and Fuzzy. Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there it is. There, I'm rewriting history. Yeah, rewriting history, brother. Man. And so. Uh, you wasn't in just in that. You was in, uh, yeah, you was in that one and a couple more. But I want to say this. So, actually, so he played his, um, I didn't even know he had a song. Y'all probably heard the story before, but, you know, I had some things that never change. Mm-hmm. It's the way it is. Mm-hmm. That Bruce Hornsby record, right? Mike Mosley and Sam Boston them produced that in Femi. And so they, um, so actually, I didn't know that Pac had a song until it came out later called Changes. Mm-hmm. Right? I didn't have no idea about that. When he was on the on the um on the on the on the trailer with us, he played a lot of his records. He played a lot of Mac. I say, man, yeah, man, my one of my handles they calling me now is Fonzarelli, and he was like, yeah, well, you know, hey, forward, that's that's a good one, man. I'm Machiavelli. Mm. Then he started breaking hey. down with it, you know what I mean, like, and then he start and then he played songs. Then he was like, man, forty, look, I got a. I, he he said he got a record. He said he had records for when he died. He told me this on everything I love on mm. the Bible. He said, I got records for when I die. It was just kind of shocking to me because I wasn't really expecting it. But I see what he's saying now, though. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, it's good to have some records when you, you know, be just on deck, in the system, period. Did, did it just sound? In the, in, in the computer, so on the hard drive, like, you know what I'm talking wow. about? But at the when time, he said, it was shocking I have records to me. for when I die. Yeah. Was it an impact then or when you look back at it? You, you it felt was an it. impact then. It was catchy. To, it was heavy to me then. I talked to my manager, Chaz, at the time, man. Shout out to Chaz. But it was like, damn, man. We, we, we was like, you heard what he said? <laughs> like, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And, man, to be honest with you, that was the last time I seen him. Damn. <gasps> Where were you at, Fody, when when you heard that Pac had passed on? I was at the house. So, Because uh, Ch- he had been, of course, he had been shot. Yeah. And he had, you know, fought for for about seven days. Yeah. And then what, you were at the house when you heard, like, Pac is gone. Yeah, and they hit me. and they, Well, I was at the house when they called me and said he got shot and uh, he in the hospital. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, oh, man, wow. You know, and I know he had been shot before. He, you know, we, we all know, you know, Pac a tough dude. So he was a tough dude. So I'm like, oh, maybe he'll make it. Right, you know yeah, because I mean? we then, all thought he'd get through this. Yeah, and then, and then one, two, three, four, five, how many days go by? Then when I heard about it, then when when they say he's gone and they're playing all his songs, uh, me and uh, my uh, my young son, he, uh, no, it was Lil Earl, mm-hmm. um, uh, Droopy. I'm sitting on the bed. I'm standing. I said in Fairfield at the time, and uh, Droopy was like, "What happened?" I say, uh, "My my friend gone. He just died." He say, "Well, why they why he died?" You know, Droopy had a little small little voice right. and whatnot, but. It was a trip, though. It was kind of it was touching, man. It, I couldn't believe it. Mm-hmm. I couldn't mm-hmm. believe. It. But I know one thing. The good thing about the positive thing about it is, you know, he uh, he was he he loved God, mm-hmm. and I think that you know he might have had that situation where you know you uh you know you got the devil over here saying, well, I can I can keep you living if you want me to, you know what I'm saying, or you know, hey, you can come up, God, you can come up here to heaven. I don't know, maybe I'm taking it too far, but. I know he chose heaven. Right. That's why he went on here and just take me, God. Yeah, man. You Check know what I mean? Check yourself out, brother. Man. That's what's up. I That's appreciate how I you. Feel. How do you like uh, KD, Kevin Durant, on your team oh, now? Oh, hello. It's a beautiful thing, man. You know, <laughs> KD, shout out to KD, man. You know what I'm saying? Warriors all day, every day. You know what I'm talking about? Nah, it's a beautiful thing. You know, y'all. Look here, man. Look, this ain't set tripping. Uh-oh. <laughs> every team, I mean, every soil, every city, 
love to see the Warriors play. I don't care if you're mm-hmm. not a fan of yeah, them. Bro. It's just they're entertaining. It's you they might liable to break a record any at a, a regular game. Just it don't have to be playoffs or nothing. It's just it's just great entertainment. Mm, not me though. You don't? Nah, but, I'm just hating. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I had to stand on a, on a you know what I'm saying? I had to stand in a different square right here. You know what I'm saying? You ain't knocking me on my square. Well, you know, we're immune to hate. It's a, it doesn't hate right. just never bothers me. <laughs> yeah, man. It just motivates. Right. It's like it's like that just bubbles off of me, brother. Yeah. Like I ain't, yeah, it just, I ain't really trip over that. Off, man. Nah, I'm have I'm in, I'm enjoying KD on mm-hmm. there. I think their chemistry is coming together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, it just took a minute, but they, you yeah, know. because there's a lot of, like, rearranging almost, in a sense, when you bring another player as strong as him onto a team that's already strong. Right, yeah. right, right. And they and they playing together, and they, them some, man, they got weapons, man. They, yeah. they, oh, man. That's a cold team right yeah. there, boy. You ordering your ring already? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll be at the Laker game. They, uh, out there, you know, they come to the, I think it's Wednesday. They play the, we play the Lakers. Uh it's either Wednesday or I'll be at the Laker one. I'll be there Wednesday and Friday. Now, can can E forty go to a Warriors game without tickets? Negative. No. You man, listen, man. Them tickets. People think. Oh man, 40. I'm not talking about that. Like that floor, because that floor is ridiculous. Floor, it costs because you got people don't understand that. I might come with some of my business partners, like some uh, friends or somebody that I'm affiliated with. They might invite me. I come, but the majority of the time, man, I'm paying for them tickets, mm-hmm. man. They don't just you don't because they're not on the war. The Warriors actually don't own them. Like the those seats down there, they're bought by corporations. It might be Safeway. Oh, it man. might be yeah, you understand yeah. me, Cisco. It might be just whoever, like Big Kaiser. Right. They own these. Mm-hmm. The people own these. You know these seats. When it was going down, record breaking. The Warriors were on their way. We Ooh. saw you on the floor a lot. Ooh. What did those tickets cost? Yeah, man. man well, yeah. um, during the finals, yes, like probably about twenty six thousand hour piece. Yep. <sighs> That's a lot. Somewhere up in that area, on their things, no less. Was that more expensive than the uh, World Series one, where you were sitting right behind? No, the World Series was is not as as high as. Uh, well, I was at a, that was, was that the World Series. Oh, you talking about two thousand fourteen? Yeah, the famous catch. when when you went to go catch the ball that wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, when, there. I was, <laughs> when I was when I when I was on. I don't, you know when, what? When I did that, when I you want do you a product know. sampling for Slurry Game. First of all, <laughs> I went to the game. Uh. First of all, man, you know what I was on? <laughs> I was high off of life. Oh, okay, go ahead now. I'm finna tell you. I'm finna finish up. Listen, I was high <laughs> off of life, and it, I've never been like. Have y'all ever been to the Kansas City Stadium? That man, I, <laughs> right behind us, we eating all kind of good food and and it's and the liquor free and all week. So I'm back and forth. So I'm he- I'm off hella vodka and cranberry through the whole <laughs> woo I love yeah. it. And so I'm just having hella fun. <laughs> and so I just I seen the bomb like it's just. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I got it. Cody, you cooked a lot, right? I love to cook. I heard that. Have you heard about my power pressure cooker? No. Oh, oh. Well, it ain't mine. Yes, but it's not mine. Oh. But that's what I use. Oh, because I, I, I see it on like your Instagram pressure. and stuff. Yeah, but you cook. Yeah, I cook. And, and, and you had restaurants, but not any restaurants where you cooked, right? Right. You, right. you had fat burgers, and do you still own those? Just fat burgers. No, those are those are defunct. Oh, I heard that, brother. Yeah. Go ahead now. But you, that you, happened. You, you're like, I, man, I'm in the hip hop game. Right. Right. Yeah. But to my defense. Uh, at that time, that's when you know I'm talking about. It was a real recession. Yeah, man. 2007, 2008. Yes, up in sir. That area, man. You know, and uh, hey, but I don't have no. You know, you got to be up in that thing when you when you got restaurants. You got to actually be in there, man. So you can watch the money. You go, you know, so everything can run right. I'm a rapper. Yeah. Yeah. Putting the bread in that thing. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but hey, man. You know what? You know where it's at right now, though. What's that? Adult beverages. Okay. Oh, uh, hello. You know that, huh? And you do know that. Yes, yeah, man. <laughs> yes, you do. Now, on the album, man, the yeah. D-Boy Diary, uh-huh. you know, everybody come to the table for you. Yes, sir. Who came to the table for you on this one? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Up. Hold on, man. He, he, man, I gotta he got to go to notes right on here. that one, man. I got to find this thing. I mean, there's so many people offhand. I can say Gucci Man. Go ahead mm-hmm. now. And shout out to Gucci man because he always been he always been a solid dude with me man. This game recognized game. That you know brother what I'm touched he touched turf and took off too That's though. He touched brother, the ground man. and he he, would... he remind me of Pop because we when I, I'm serious I'm serious man. I'm Go being ahead, honest with it. you. The, his work ethic is, he writes so quick and he and his great music and he he's a very talented dude and he's creative. I love that. And he came home and went to work having his money. You know what I'm saying? Looking yeah, good, man. man. Boss. 
You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Gucci, man. I ain't mad at him, man. He did. He 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 sent. Man, I sent him the record, man. He knocked it out for me, man. And everybody in the industry at him. You know what I mean? Yeah, hell yeah. And he, and he did it for me, man. You know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, you know, try to stress it. I was like, if he don't do it, man, it's still my partner because I know he's busy. People don't understand. You can't get mad at some somebody that's in demand and right. they don't return. You know, uh, your your record and when you needed return, right? You I know hear what I'm you. saying? Because we all busy. You know what I mean? We don't mean no it's harm. It's no disrespect. And it's no disrespect, man. He turned. He 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 did it for me, man. And uh, uh, shout out to Gucci, man. Uh, who else I got on there? So many Lil people, B. dude. I got Lil B, Lil G-Eazy. B, Easy. Yeah, Lil B Neff. came to the Orange Room. Neff. Yeah, name some people. You Go know ahead. Who I'm, now. You I'm know. looking at it. Got G Easy on that uh, thing. Gas is your son. My son Droopy. He earned them stripes. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, he sir. earned that boy. Yes, sir. That boy's down there born in the studio, he man. He definitely he was. He was definitely raised in it. He was on Federal, the Federal album when he was three years old. He was on In a Major Way when he was five. Yes. Rapping. Yes, wow. man. Rapping. He got, a, he got a platinum album when he was six years old. What was rapping. his line on there? I, I spit game like a soldier. Tell them fools, I told you this. The Rap King Pin Giant, six-year-old vocalist. You don't want to see me. Do it like I do that. All up in your talking face. I talk much more than Smith's act. Y'all better get up on it. The game is so disneep. Oh my God. I be rapping in my sleep. Game, straight game. Get up on it. Straight game. And then he got to talking to me. It was oh, on a song called God. It's All Bad. He's six years old on that song. Wow. What about the he other got, one that he would grow up to be? He would grow up to be Now, I'm not going to rap that because that was too fast. I don't even know how he rapped that shoot one. Him. Wow. He was he nine years old right there. But a hoot like, yeah. Even, yeah, <laughs> you man. You know too much. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, y'all keep that gold album right there. On his way to platinum. Kid J Rock, Mr. Fab, Eric Bellinger. Uh, who else is on there? AD. Turf Talk. Uh, there's so many people. Like it's, And you know what? But the thing about it is everybody playing a position, and I'm poking out like nipples. I'm on right, there. Right. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> Joe Moses. Uh, I'm really, veggies. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 um, my boy, uh, uh, shoot, who else on that thing, man? Um, Are you on there? Man, I'm all over that okay, thing. Hell, That's uh, what's so beautiful about it. You know what I mean? Because I'm with all the guest appearance, because some people are doing hooks. Right, you know what I'm saying. Some people got a verse on there, but then we talk about 44 songs. 44 songs, and I'm poking out like nipples. Go ahead now, go ahead now. Gas, you can. You know what, man? I'm being honest with you. I'm not feeling myself for nothing. I'm being honest, man. If I look, if I wasn't me, and I looked at me, and I was sitting on the side of me, and I'm like, that's a cold dude, man. You know, (laughs) man. That dude really be saying some stuff. People get got to do that. Get that boy his his oppers, man. Yeah, man. Get that boy his oppers, man. His proppers, man. For real, for real. E40, always a pleasure to have you in the neighborhood, man. Go ahead now. Thank y'all for always letting me on this thing, man. Man, I love how you got your get down in a Starbucks cup. Yeah, this Uh is Can I just tell you, I think I'm feeling it. Right, right. That, <laughs> That's it's, how f- it smells good, though. <laughs> it's very potent. I can smell hey, it. hey like Foley, I have <laughs> never. Now, I've seen you drink, and you got your own liquor, everything. But I don't think I've ever seen you like totally just drunk, mm. fall out. Like, man, yeah, Fody on he on the floor sloppy. in the club, or I never, yeah, I never you. seen you sloppy. I've been sloppy before. Oh, really? <laughs> though, I just haven't seen it. <laughs> when I'm see when you having too much fun, sometimes you can mess up. So I'm on some heme. I'm on privilege. And it's me and OG Mugs and all of us and all the OGs and we had a, we we had just turned out a cool little concert and I'm perking, bro. I'm talking about perking. So I get to the hotel and I want to wrestle all. You know we got cats from the penitentiary, anything. So I want to wrestle them. So I'm doing a good job. So I got my I got my partner Taco in a in a headlock. Taco. No, Taco had just did 14 or something like that in the thing. He switched over and did some type of penitentiary move on the head. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike and all. We just in there, man. I was gone, dude. But I they, you know it. what? They love me so much. They could, they could have really beat me up if they wanted to. <laughs> yeah. But they know they was like they was cracking up at the whole thing. So I was on, man. Be careful when you, when you, when you're on that heme, man. <laughs> heme make you mean, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a sloppy man. Yeah, yeah, well, I ain't never caught you as such. That's why man. I like to drink wine. Wine keep me, mm. you know, right. I'm right. smooth. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. You think straight. What do so, your doctors say? I'm, I'm. This, this is what you drink. If you, if you, if you, you know, wine is it. Right. Wine okay. is antioxidant. And I, I, well, you want, you really want to know? Right. You're supposed to drink in moderation, uh-huh. which is probably like. But this is your moderation. My, I drink in ignoration. <laughs> 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 You know, but, but let me tell you, Forty, you'll come. We'll say, all right, Forty, you got to be here at six thirty. Yeah, you here at six fifteen. Yes, sir. When it comes to shows, I don't ever remember somebody saying, "Man, Forty didn't show up." <laughs> right yeah. now, nah. Forty didn't do the show. We had you in 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 the studio as far as recording with my artists. You you, you there? 
We had a great time. And I appreciate you. But yes, it's never been something where I, I heard somebody say, Fody can't make it downstairs to the lobby for the interview. Right. Fody's running late. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fody can't make it because he's hungover. I've never in my career had that from you. No, man. I try to handle business. You know what I mean? Especially when it's people like you and just those. I, think, I feel everybody's important. But I've always known that this is my occupation. You don't want that bad name on yeah. you like he always – you know, he, he always, always late. He don't. Yeah. He always got an he excuse. He don't show up. I'm not finna be in here giving y'all a dole ass interview. Like, yeah, man. Right, man. right. Yeah, Love that. yeah, man. Because I know. Cats you know, what I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just energized. That's just this cat that's brand new, man. That they say, oh, he couldn't make his flight. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, designer couldn't make the flight. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, 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 I never hear it, man. I never hear that Fody couldn't make it to the show. If I didn't make it to the show, it's something devastating. Right, right, right. You, we better be nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably you know, or the plane just like it was a problem with the plane or something. Right. I'm, it ain't you. It ain't me. Right. Like I was at the airport. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm woke, man. I'm I'm not gonna never um do do people wrong, man. I try man, to, I know that. Try to play my position and be a solid and you dude. You played well, man. my brother. You know what I mean? Best believe that. I yeah, appreciate man. you coming into the neighborhood again, man. Thank you, brother. E forty up in here, man. The D Boy Diary available for you Thank right you now. All. Thank you. Always a pleasure to have you up in here, man. Fody Fonzarelli in the neighborhood, Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy. Thank you, family.